ているだろうジお前が会いたがっているのはこの男か What's up, YouTube? DS Pyro once again, aka Django Jr., coming at you with another episode of Grinding Gears. Want to know what really grinds my gears? Tekken Cross Street Fighter. Or you know what? Rather, the lack of it. The game was announced way back in 2010. Now, let me do the math for you. That's seven damn years ago. Seven. That's like how dogs age in human years or, or whatever. Point is, it's not here. This game was announced the same time as Street Fighter Cross Tekken, which we had, and it was okay. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I, I enjoyed that game, I've said it in other videos, but it's not Tekken Cross Street Fighter. Since then, we've had Pokken Tournament, the Pokemon fighting game. We've had Tekken Tag Tournament 2. We've had Street Fighter 5. We've had Tekken 7. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Now we've got Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Namco even worked on Super Smash Bros. 4. And that's, if my math is correct, and I'm terrible at math, but I think it is, that's eight games. Eight and a half years of being picky, and damn it, I'm gonna be picky, so that's eight and a half games. To add insult to injury, Goki, Akuma, he's in Tekken 7, and he's actually a part of the story. Someone tell me, tell me now, How this game, Tekken Cross Street Fighter, hasn't happened. Namco, unlike Capcom, makes full games. Even if in the latest game there's been some pre order DLC, but you still pretty much have access to the full cast characters. You don't have to, they're not behind some sort of barrier. What the actual hell? My first love of gaming, let alone fighting games, was Tekken. And I think Tekken Cross Street Fighter will be amazing. To be fair, just look how well Akuma moves in Tekken 7. Look how nice it looks. It's awesome. And so damn smooth. All I want is a glimmer of hope for this game, not just Akuma in Tekken 7. And on that note, that was just a quick rant. I'll see you guys later. Peace.